good morning and good afternoon today's video is going to be a overview of Wusa's capabilities in both in PvE and PvP in the PvP category I would explain a couple of things when it comes to your primary means to CC the means as to how you would uh, utilize these CC's in combos for PvP and then in the PvE category, I'm going to showcase mostly a uh, infinite rotation is how you will possibly go with Usa in most of the higher end areas in the game. Now, depending on how you play with Usa, you may change a couple of things in the rotation that I'm going to show you later down the line in the video. Or you may... I feel like my rotation is best formatted for you as it's in my opinion easier to handle than what other creators may showcase in terms of how you should rotate with your skills with Usa in PvE. Now let's get started. Now to explain properly as to why the PvE rotation starts out with you using Thunderstroke into the other skills that you'll be using later down the line in the rotation. Now the reason why I start out with Thunderstroke is that for me this is the quickest way to basically get yourself the first thunderstorm cloud that you want to use. So by doing this, immediately shifting from space. Uh, from what you were at and then using your movement skill to then go into thunderstroke immediately applies your thundercloud that you want to then use right after from then on you're going to use f to apply your 20 ap buff onto yourself and then once you already have the thundercloud still up right now it's not up but let's say if it's if it was still up and i have my buff i use shift r and b into the flow applies the thundercloud that you're using at that point applying the magic debuff onto the target as well as dealing a bit of damage right after you then apply your second thunderstorm cloud with 
SF. Now SF also applies a, from what I remember, applies a minus 20 DP onto your target. Uh, from there, since you're applying the second thunderstorm cloud, you will then immediately go into shift F for damage. And then this also flows well immediately into your bamboo. Continue holding E uh, in, until the shift E skill comes out, not that skill right that you just saw. So essentially, just do it quickly. Your second thunderstorm cloud into shift F. And as you hold E, you see that you're already uh, applying the shift E skill as well. You don't have to do shift E to go into this skill right here, essentially. Now, once you're done doing that, you will then apply your wing beat and then following it off into plum now once you do plum you go into your you go into your prime skill and then finish it off with the last prime skill that you have on you then from there you just go into shift L and B into shift Q so if you put that all together it looks like this That's essentially what you're doing there. So if you want to get in more in depth, basically again, down E for first thunderstorm cloud, F for your 20 AP buff, then you apply your shift R and B, which is a tier three add-on. Then you apply your minus 20 DP debuff with this skill, and also apply your secondary storm immediately. Do it quickly though, because then it won't appear. And then you go into shift F. This also gives you a movement speed buff, and then you go into Bamboo, which is applies your evasion debuff onto your target into Shift E for that damage, into Wing Beat for again for damage, health, and return using Plum, and then if you cancel immediately into your Prime skill, it will go into the last hit instead of going to the, the first two hits from that Prime skill, immediately into your last pri um, Prime skill from right there. And that's it. I, I'm calling them prime, aren't I? Aren't I? So essentially, you, you just do these skills. You'll get what you get from immediately into those skills, without having uh, to change it up in any other way besides this way. There are other methods you can go about doing the PVE rotation, but from what I found, this is the most damaging one, apart from any other ones that I've seen. Some people will probably tell you, like they say, for example, "Oh, why not go into?" F, F, F into this skill right here, right? Right? It already does it automatically for you as long as you hold down F, right? Now, the reason why I don't do this is because, for one, if you do do this, you're letting yourself wide open. You're not protected when you're doing this in PvE. So you're more likely to, to get CC'd while doing this. So by doing, let's say, Thunderstroke, your buff into this skill, you're fully protected when doing so at least not fully but you, you don't have as many gaps in between in pve so then while you're done with that you can immediately go into down f or sf into again your sanguja and then into uh, your bamboo into shift e and then immediately go into wing beat which is everything will be basically protected as you're doing so in this way since it's mostly FGs that you're going to be applying at the middle to the end of the combo. In most places that you go into, the most higher end places, you'll you'll survive. You'll survive a lot more than other classes in this game. But that's why she's considered to be one of the highest sustainable classes in the game right now. So yeah, that's about it. There really isn't anything else that I can really explain as to how you can play Wusa in general. 
uh, if you feel like there's anything else that I need to showcase a, in another video about Usa, like, oh, you're confused as to how you can play her properly. Uh, if you want a more in-depth guide as to how to play Usa and giving you my impressions of the house you can, and as to how you can play Usa, then I'll think about it and see. So yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a like or dislike, I don't care. Uh, if you want to see more of my future content, just subscribe, you know, it helps me a lot. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for more, I guess.